Hello everybody, welcome back to another Friday style tip. Yes, I did get a haircut. Got a little bit of a fade there. You know, just something new. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about polo shirts. Where to buy them. Where to look for them. How to size them. All that jazz. So enough of that. Let's jump straight into this video. A lot of people nowadays start to wear the polo shirt a lot. You go out, you see them, you're just like, Oh, that looks good. I like that guy's outfit. <sighs> well, you should. Guess what? You should get one of these because it fits in with the dress shirt and also collar dress shirt. If you're a little bit of a more dressier person like myself <laughs> and wear the, dre the dress shirt and the collared uh, shirt, this can be an also a, like a third option to have and you can play around with your outfit just because it's very similar to those other two. I would almost put them in a group like of themselves, the three of them, just because they're so good at, you know, you can elevate your outfit a whole lot more with those three. All right, geez, Logan, enough with that bullcrap filler. Let's go. Yeah, geez. <laughs> okay, so you want to get into the polo game now. Well, you got to just be aware of something quick. Polo shirts are for every day, but they're also for tennis and golf. Now, to, to distinguish between the two, you can have a little look inside the tag, or you could just tell automatically. These normal polo shirts are mostly made from cotton and sometimes a polyester or whatever. The uh, golf shirts and tennis shirts, they're very different in uh, style and in the material. See, I just have one here, one of my golf shirts. It's got a different material. It's a little bit more of a waterproof shirt. And inside the tag, I don't know if you can see, it says performance polo. So that would be golf and everyday sports or whatever you got. If you're looking for like tennis or golf shirts, I picked this one up from Costco. You know, great little buy here. And they got a whole bunch of polo shirts there. So if you want golf in that, go there, check them out. But anyways, if you're going for more of the everyday casual, you know, polo shirt, normal shirt, I got... I think three stores in mine, I think, Jeez, what am I saying? To find these shirts, you know the first store I'm gonna say is Old Navy. You go in there, they got different colors. They got all the solid colors, go in there, snag a few and you can mix and match with your shorts. And it's just plain on the front. You got no logo, you got no anything. If you're looking for a logo or you're looking for a little bit of a, you know, higher priced or quality shirt, Okay, sure. You can also check The Gap and then the Hudson's Bay because The Gap, they got those, they got the Polish, polo shirts, Polish, yeah. <laughs> they got those shirts. They look good. They have a little bit more, uh, better quality. But again, you're paying for the logo and that, uh, the higher price there. Same with the Hudson's Bay. They got a whole bunch of selections there. You got, you can go in there and, they got the different brands around the store. Like you got the Polo Ralph Lauren, Lacoste, uh, Tommy Hilfiger, all those. Now you can go there and shop around, look at the prices, look at the shirts and decide. But if you're looking for a little bit, you know, higher priced or those brands go there because you can snag them a little bit cheaper than going to the actual store. All right. So those were the stores I had in mind. Now it's time to uh, talk about the sizing. Now for sizing with these polo shirts, they're made from the cotton, so they're supposed to slim to your body, like fit over top. Now there's two ways to help you size this. I'll talk about, about them right now. All right, so the first guide here is the shirt on the sleeve. Now some of these shirts have a little bit of more tighter fit to them. They fit right to your bicep. So to tell if the shirt's great, uh, if it's right for you, you're gonna take your two fingers and you're gonna slide them in the sleeve. Now, if you can fit the two in there, that means it's a good size. If you can't, that means the shirt uh, is fitting tightly to your, uh, your body and your bicep. That means you should upgrade to a different size. And then for the last one, it's all about the waist. My shirt here has a little bit of a tighter uh, finish to it in this gray part. 
but for your shirt, it should almost be about your uh, middle of your butt, <laughs> right there. So that way you can wear, uh, wear it normally or you can uh, tuck it in and uh, still go from there. But those were the two little sizing bits. So yeah, but anyways, those were, that was today's video. <laughs> Just with polo shirts, where to buy them uh, and how to fit them pretty much. Just extra stores for if you're looking for athletic uh, polos, you also have your normal stores like Sport Check or sporting stores near you. I'm pretty sure they have them. But anyways, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Go grab yourself a few polo shirts and rock them. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.